everyone, how are you guys doing? This is Shetal Sapan Madre and today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be. So we have three options in front of us. Option number one is this beautiful conch. Option number two is this lovely amethyst crystal spear. And option number three is this lovely labradite angel. So you can choose any option that you are drawn to. You can also make this kind of piles with number 1, 2 and 3. Just say, dear God, God is Archangels. How my week is going to be and pick up any one uh, tile, whatever number comes. That's going to be your pile. Alright, so um, let's get started with how your week is going to be. Hello group 1, how are you guys doing? This is Shudu Sapan Madre. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are fine and rocking as always. Today we are going to see uh, how your coming week is going to be. If you want to know which dream of yours are going to get fulfilled, I have made a recent video on that. And if you also want to know what kind of miracles are going to come in your life, I have made a video on that too. So let's get started. You have chosen this beautiful conch which means sort of spiritual growth is going to happen in your life. You have connection to the goddess in some way or the other and she is blessing you. A lot of blessing coming your way this week. Some of you may also travel in your sea as well. So let's see your week ahead. Group 1. Starting of the week. Mid of the week. Weekend. Let's see the blessing coming your way. Message from a departed loved one. Okay. Message regarding your finances. I see you know a, some sort of travel plans happening for you. Could be a long travel, a short travel. I also see some of you connecting with an old friend. Let's see how we need to nurture yourself. You need to let go of disappointment. Okay. Uh, somehow, you know, you have just lost this spark because of a trauma disappointment that you have faced. Uh, please, you know, I understand. Uh, it's difficult to overcome any sort of you know trauma drama but um, at times you know we it's important that we move on easier said than done i know that okay but it's important that we look at the brighter sides of life than what is not working for us all right so let's see your week ahead let me keep your cards over here okay the start of the week the start of the week is going to be full of action you are going to really feel impulsive ensure that you are not you know uh, taking any rash action rash decisions stay calm uh, you know, there is going to be a lot of revolution that you would want to do in the beginning of the week, which is good. But, you know, stay calm and composed. All right. There is going to be somebody young who is going to help you in order to uh, go ahead. Uh, so that's great. But, you know, uh, drive uh, safely, walk carefully, just don't rush into things. All right. The middle of the week, you've got Ace of Wands. So a new beginning of creativity, adventure, a lot of, you know, ideas coming your way. You will be full of enthusiasm. You will also start something new in the mid of the week. Let's see the end of the week. Wow! The weekend is going to be full of celebration, completion. You are going to really feel... Uh, so uh, amazing you will take care of yourself you'll reach out to more people some of you may even you know uh, uh travel as i said during the weekend but yes you are going to be full of energy and enthusiasm in the week ahead for sure now let's see what your other cats are telling us 
a life purpose you have got family so this week family is going to be a priority uh, some of you may decide to um focus on them so work may take a back seat and uh, if you're already if, if you're a homemaker you are going to uh you know you got to support your friends and family if you're a business or a career person yes you may focus on family more than your work uh however you may travel with them or maybe you will team up with somebody from the family or there could be some opportunity that will come your way via a family member all right let's see your next card relationship so uh regarding health uh your health is getting affected because of Uh, the relationships that are there around you so do not take unnecessary stress take care of your heart and of course go to a right doctor take your medicines to ensure that you are completely healed let's see your next card wow this is beautiful so if you're single and you're not with your partner do not worry even if you are physically apart uh The, you know you are connected and you will definitely meet your partner soon the ones who are in a relationship or married you may spend some time away from your partner because of certain circumstances however you will stay connected with each other all right let's see your next card surrender to miracles so this week be open to miracles uh let go of any resistance you know at the many times we feel i don't know if a miracle can happen to me that's the resistance that you are creating from and stop you're creating and that is what is stopping you from experiencing one however you will but you don't want to be delusional it's not called, called being delusional it's called being hopeful all right uh i'm not asking you to go over the top and just say i am experiencing miracles no i'm just asking you to just be open to the possibility of a miracle happening in your life all right and remind and when i see this card my new workshop i am miracle is coming soon check the link below for the details so yes surrender to miracles you yourself are a miracle all right dream journal so you know i feel journaling is so important it really helps you to connect with yourself so ensure that you are creating uh, you know you're journaling enough whatever dreams you are seeing write it down to know the pattern behind it to understand what is leading to those dreams as well okay keep the faith the change coming your way is with the miracle card and the faith card definitely you are going to be more connected to the divine your faith is going to be more stronger let me zoom out a little okay so that we can see the cards better okay regarding finances release jealousy whenever we are jealous of someone it could be because we may feel that we are never going to have what they have or we may start wondering when we will have it okay either which way that's not really going to help us so it takes away jealousy takes us away from the vibration of what we truly desire so avoid that can you see over here an angel is formed you know isn't that amazing so again you know that's a miracle right in fact over here also you can see an angel getting formed so two angels wow that's amazing so let go of jealousy and if somebody else is jealous towards you be compassionate okay they are feeling that way because you have something that they don't so rather than being angry with them for being jealous with you jealous towards you be more compassionate and protect yourself and shield yourself as well Let's see what a departed loved one is saying us breathe. So the breath is a vital bridge between your body and soul. It is the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe spirit and the divine source. So here this card is telling you that focus on your life than focusing on them. Okay? It seems that you know 
everything that you do you're constantly thinking about them you so you're not really you know moving on so they're asking me to focus on your life that's what they're trying to tell you the blessing coming your way is a soulmate relationship so if you're single you're going to meet somebody interesting if you're already in a relationship or married you're going to feel a beautiful connect with your partner isn't that beautiful so let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 1 and let me spin the wheel for you maybe so whatever question you have asked the answer is maybe okay let's see why is it a maybe hold on let me just remove the cards okay the answer is maybe because you are still stuck in the past and you need to move on okay going down memory lane being nostalgic is good but being stuck in the past is not good okay there's a life pattern which keeps on repeating itself and you need to and you need to break this pattern all right so this is what this card is telling you group 1 i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did hit the like button to subscribe to my channel and get more info on the workshop given in the link below Hello group 2 how are you guys doing this is Sheila Sapan Matre and today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be I got a special reading on what dreams of yours are going to get fulfilled and when you can check the pick a card reading uh, which I have done uh, the coming la the last week last week itself so let's get started you have chosen this beautiful amethyst spear all right so yes you have been worried about evil eye negativity around you so this um uh, crystal is asking you to shield yourself be more careful when you're walking also driving ensure that you know you are careful is what i'm getting let me keep this beautiful spear over here you are protected you are safe do not worry let's see what your cards are telling us your life purpose message i'm hearing the word boat b o a t boat so that can mean you know uh, some a transition happening travel happening okay it can also mean water leakage Finances have been a concern. Okay, it's not that they are dwindling, but the kind of growth you are looking, that's not happening, and that's frustrating. so the beginning of the week queen of pentacles wow so a lot of opportunities coming your way you are going to really manage everything be it work be it career beautifully you're going to focus on inner growth as well there is a woman who is going to help you leadership is going to be of importance during the uh, you know week ahead especially in the beginning of the week there is going to be an opportunity coming your way so do not miss it okay let's see your next card the eight of swords so you may feel trapped you know you may feel like a victim you don't have this victim mentality rather than focusing on where you are 
stuck focus on solutions focus on how you can come out of this problem that you are in whose help you can seek in order to come out of this as well let's see the card eight of pentacles so the week end you are going to really put in your best efforts you are going to be busy however you are going to enjoy that you're going to really get appreciation and acknowledgement for you as a person for uh, for your work as well so clearly i got two pentacle card which means money is going to be of importance in the week ahead and opportunities are coming your way so do not remove the blindfold in order to see this opportunities let's see your next card surrender to success all right so as a you know look over here you're ready to receive you're ready to experience abundance so these two cards are clearly they're talking about abundance all right don't look back at the previous roadblocks or difficulties that is what this eight of swords is telling you leap into exciting new world of possibilities wow so these three cards are summarized by this one card isn't it amazing let's see your love life oh how beautiful this is a lovers oracle they're beautiful cards when it comes to matters of heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love so the ones who are single and you have been kind of blaming yourself for the kind of people you have chosen in the past understand you know that you just now you have a better understanding of what benchmark you need to have for your future partners all right the ones who are married or in a relationship it is important that you both make the right decisions okay now here we say no right or wrong so try and understand your partner without being judgmental about them speak to each other have long conversations uh to create that connect with each other okay the blessing coming your way is explore your options now um, it's time that you rather than focusing on the closed doors try and explore the new doors that can be opened for you by the divine or that can really help you just ah so here uh, the departed loved one is telling you that whatever it is that you have been praying for or desiring for you need to be open and courageous enough to ask for it as well all right so uh, do not do not try to do everything by your own you have a spiritual team with you who is guiding you and your departed loved one wants you wants you to know that this this entire team is there to help you so just ask them for help clean energy food so this is a message for your finances ensure that you are keeping the energy clean of not only the food that you are eating but also your finances the food that we eat determines our vibrations when we eat food that are toxic our vibrations become more toxic and we do not attract great things in life so ensure that you are kind of you know cleansing your energy eating more clean food to be of a higher vibration let's see your next card the change coming your way healing from the past so you know this is what i feel the eight of swords is so what will happen in the past you know it is in the past it does not define you yes you may have made wrong choices but holding on to guilt and not forgiving yourself is not helping in any which way it was a lesson you learned not time to move on let's see you need to journal and start writing what you feel what you are grateful for this way you will be taking care of yourself nurturing yourself i feel earlier you used to write but now you don't have faith okay so with regards to your health be optimistic be positive of course you need to take the right guidance consultation as well but ensure that you are positive about your overall health nutrition so uh <laughs> this is very interesting now clean energy food nutrition so definitely lot of paying attention to the food that you are intaking 
सो वेदर यू आर होम मेकर और अ करियर पर्सन कॉर्पोरेट करियर पर्सन और अ बिजनेस पर्सन पे अटेंशन टू द फूड दैट यू आर इन टेकिंग दैट्स वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट इट्स ऑल्सो पॉसिबल दैट यू मे हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट डिनर लंच मीटिंग्स विच आर गोइंग टू ओपन अप अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर यू एज वेल all right and if you are in the in the field of food and nutrition you're going to do well this um, this week all right now let's see what the wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group um do and let me spin the wheel for you and yes with the explorer options there are going to be new doors opening for you this week so let's spin the wheel you got miracle so whatever the question was expect miracles to happen in your life when we expect miracles that's when miracles really do happen i'm conducting a miracle workshop this uh, coming week for more details click on the link below take care bye bye hello group 3 how are you guys doing i hope you are fine and rocking as always we are going to see how your coming week is going to be we're going to see it in detail before that you know i have made a reading on uh what dreams of yours are going to get fulfilled when they are going to get fulfilled and what action you need to take in order to fulfill them so check check my channel for the same so i've chosen this beautiful labradorite angel look at the rainbow so you have been praying to the angels you have been praying to the divine you really want to experience a divine connect um you have been kind of feeling a little disconnected is what i'm getting do not worry your intuition your uh connect is completely fine at times we may feel a little disconnected but that, that but that does not mean that um we are disconnected we are always connected to the divine because the divine is a parent and there is this golden umbilical cord that connects us to the divine no matter what so let's see your week ahead the beginning of the week the mid of the week the weekend Let's see your love life. Okay. Let's see the blessing coming your way. Let's see message from a departed loved one. feels like you have been seeing some old pictures and reliving old memories so that's beautiful let's see the changes coming your way windfall okay lovely let's see what other changes are going to come in your life let's see how you need to nurture yourself do not pay attention to competition do not compare yourself with others they have their own journey you have your own yes we can learn from them but we do not need to copy them or we do not there is no need for you know getting threatened by competition just focus on being a better version of you than what you were yesterday and you're good to go okay all right now let's see your cards that's the beginning of the week Emperors wow this is beautiful the beginning of the week will be full of abundance opportunities some of you uh, mother will be a focus for some of you mothers in heaven are sending love to their um, beloved children i also feel that um, a you know financial abundance is also going to be there opportunities are going to come your way some of you may also get some news regarding an addition in the family or right either yours or excellent family as well or you may focus on becoming a mother as well for some of you not all of you love is going to really shine so love life money personal life looks good in the beginning of the week 
let's see the mid of the week wow this is beautiful group 3 good fortune is going to be in your favor you're going to feel so lucky things which were stuck will start moving you are going to have a beautiful start and mid of the week now let's see the end of the week lovers my god group 3 you have got three major arcana cards which means this week the coming week is going to be very very important it's it's really going to be phenomenal you it's it's not it's full of positive energies okay an important week i must say so the weekend uh, there are going to be important choices that you will have to make you will spend time doing all that you love you will spend time with people you love as well so clearly the week the week is very beautiful for you group three let's see the next card speaker so whether you're a homemaker a corporate career person or a business person you are going to speak on important topics and this topic is going to help many improving health wow group three your week is rocking health is going to improve uh, so please continue taking the right medical advice going to the right doctor taking the right medicines as well that's your next card music in order to take care of yourself listening listening to good music can definitely be helpful listening to chants listening to uplifting music mantras can definitely nourish your body and your soul as well that's your next card the change coming your way is a new exercise program so you are going to ensure that you are paying attention to the movement in your body so that all the stuck energy goes away this is beautiful let me just zoom out the camera a bit that's your next card take a divinely guided chance all right so um with regards to your finances there is going to be some sort of opportunity coming your way which will involve some sort of risk so ensure that you are taking the right guidance you are collecting all the information and making an inf in, you know informed choice okay this change is going to bring in abundance okay but yes there is a risk involved which we cannot deny the departed loved one is asking you to love yourself okay forgive yourself you have done nothing wrong it is time to nurture yourself you have done you did do a lot for them when they were alive on this earth now they are alive in heaven all right so they, they want you to appreciate yourself they want you to forgive yourself and they want you to let go of guilt okay the blessing coming your way is that you're going to let go of all that which is stuck and there is going to be new energies coming your way and not surprising with the wheel of fortune so it's time to move on and you are going to move on for sure let's see your love life so look at this card so beautiful the lover's oracle if you're single um criticizing all the prospects and uh it's not going to help you criticizing your exes are not going to help you in any way okay uh there are people who are uh on different wavelengths with regards to maturity however keeping on giving energy to what's wrong with others does not really help us in any way all right so it's important that you go with an open mind uh, with regards to the prospects that you are meeting and just see what they have got to offer then you know having a checklist and a checklist and kind of you know measuring them against it all right so keep an open mind the ones who are in a relationship or who are married whenever we are criticizing the other person either in real you know by saying things or by thinking things we are sending negativity not only to them but to our, the relationship that you share as well there's always a right way of putting a point across without being uh negative about it 
all right so try and put the point across uh, take therapy if required but yeah criticizing each other and trying to change the each other is not going to help in any which way now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group three and let me spin the wheel for you you have got jackpot so whatever question you have asked the answer is jackpot group three i hope you enjoyed the session as much as i did if you did do hit the like button do subscribe to my channel and uh, the i miracle workshop details is given in the comment section along with the miracle links which the participants have experienced so take care bye bye mm -hmm.